As a hospice nurse, I noticed one thing. At the end of our lives, we will look for not our stuff, but the people who matter, the people who we love, we care for, and who care for us, like our family, our loved ones. Let's spend as much time as we can, while we can, with those who matter to us. Because they're the ones that we will look for at the end of our lives. Let's do that while we can. Chika, matapang ang ibinahagi ni Princess Ponsalan sa kanyang social media account, ang kanyang mga dagok sa buhay at ang kanyang mga pinagdaanan noong siya ay bata pa, lalong lalo na noong siya ay nasa showbiz pa. Inamin nga niya ang isa sa pinakamabigat na revelasyon na nangyari sa kanyang buhay na talaga naman pinagsisisihan niya hanggang sa ngayon na sana ay hindi niya ginawa. Pero ito nga ay dahil sa takot niya sa kanyang mama na si Helen Bella ay nagawa nga niya ito. Pero dahil nga sa kanyang pagpapatawad sa kanyang sarili at lalong lalo na ang kanyang malaking pagtitiwala sa Diyos, ay masaya na nga siyang naninirahan ngayon kasama ang kanyang asawa at anak sa Amerika. Halika at panoorin natin. When I was 15, I got pregnant. So I had an abortion because I was afraid of my mom. It's because the guy wouldn't stand up for the baby. And then, at 19, I found a guy who would marry me. For four and a half years, we tried. I didn't get pregnant. That marriage dissolved. And in my mid-30s, I found a man who would marry me and love me. We tried for 10 years to get pregnant. I didn't get pregnant. We tried different kinds of ways to get pregnant. I didn't. So we adopted. It was a long, hard climb to finally find our match. I'm so grateful that the birth mom didn't decide to kill her. Because right now, I'm so happy with my daughter. And I'm very grateful that she is in my life. In my own personal journey, I learned that there were two reasons why bad things happened to me. One is I made the bad judgment against my father. And whatever that judgment was, that came back to me and happened to me over and over. Example, I judged him and in my mind, I made him out to be a liar. And so, in the series of relationships I've had, it kept coming back to me. And it just became a very raw nerve in my life. Until I for was able to forgive him and saw that it wasn't true, then that pattern stopped in my life. The other thing is that unless we learn the lesson that tests will just keep coming back over and over until we learn. Anong masasabi nyo mga kachika? Just comment down below. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you!